your first nickname? Blade. Blades all? Was it? I think yeah, it was Blades all. Uh, mine was actually Player because that was the default name in 1.6. Your first nickname? Uh, my first nickname was Jumanji because I like the movie Jumanji, like the board game. So yeah, my first nickname was Jumanji. My first nickname uh, was Kong. Uh, your first nickname, Cutler? Uh, my first nickname was Monkey. Did you buy any pins? Any luck unboxing? I bought five. Not much luck. <laughs> I haven't bought any. I don't even like case openings. Uh, did you buy any pins? Yes, I'm buying ten and one lucky unboxing. Did you buy any pins? Any luck unboxing? No, not not yet. I didn't buy, but I am planning to. So hopefully I will be lucky with the at least the Guardian Elite, the black one, or at least the default one, Guardian. So yeah, I'm looking for this one. Did you buy any pins? Any lucky unboxing? Uh, we haven't yet, but we're going to very soon. Yeah, we plan on buying new pins right after this. Uh, what kind of player are you? Swag seven or Pro ninety? <sighs> Bit of both. Swag seven. Uh, yeah, I like Pro ninety. Spray and pray. It's good. What kind of player are you? Swag seven or Pro nineteen? Swag seven. Uh, what kind of player are you? Swag seven or Pro ninety? Uh, definitely a Swag seven. I'm definitely a Pro ninety. One hundred percent. What kind of player are you, SWAC 7 or Pro 90? <laughs> I like the SWAC 7 more. Uh, I don't like to, to randomly shoot and just running and shooting. So yeah, SWAC 7 is the SWAC went uh, Most impressive stage? This one for me. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been to quite a few of them and I would still say this one is the most impressive. Most impressive stage, yes. It was amazing. Uh, most impressive stage. Uh, I would have to say this one. I've only been to two majors, so other than, that, other than those two, then I would say this one. Yeah, th this stage is pretty incredible. The arena is, it, I don't know if it's bigger, but it just seems like it's bigger. The energy here is pretty unreal. I'm pretty happy with it. Most impressive stage. Uh, if it's about the gaming stage, like playing, then <laughs> of course it's ESL Cologne this year. It's something we have never experienced yet. And playing there is, uh, I can't really explain uh, what kind of feeling is it. You have to be a player to, to, to know and to, to feel the feeling you are playing on. Like, there's outside like at least 10,000 people and screaming for you every single round you are winning. That's something, something new and perfect. Uh, pick the craziest personality on CSGO. Taz? Yeah, Taz is pretty. Taz is good. Um, or Freakazoid is pretty entertaining. Pick the craziest personality on this goal. Uh, hmm, it was hard question. Zeus from my team. Pick the craziest personality on CSGO. Ooh. <laughs> it's uh, Taz. I want to say Taz. Taz is pretty Taz? crazy. I think it's crazy. I mean, Taz is crazy. I'd probably go with Freakazoid or Jordan, or uh, sorry, nothing. That, that, it'd be one of those two for me. I would go with Victor Voitas, Taz. Like, he's funny and he's trolling, and I would say he's intelligent enough in speaking as well. He has good ideas, and yeah, it's Taz. It's always fun with him. Even if you are talking with him seriously, he tries to do it like in a fun way. So yeah, I would say it's Victor. Uh, bunny hop, surfing, or pixel walking? Bunny hopping all day. I don't know what pixel walk, isn't that like bad? I don't know, probably bunny hopping. Yeah. yeah. Bunny hop, surfing, or pixel walking? Uh, I'm gonna go with bunny hopping. So I'm in surf servers every day. <laughs> surf all day. Actually, I'm using surfing on some certain spots on maps. You can. And bunny hop, of course, but not pixel walking. It's, um, it's, it's cheating in these days, so pixel walking, no. Like before it was fine, and now when you're seeing pixel walking, you're just getting pissed off. So I would go with the first two, bunny hop and surfing. Pick players for a dream team. Uh, I have to go with Olaf, Device, um, Existence. I think he's still the best caller. What are you looking at me like that for? No, I respect that. Um, Crims and... I'll put myself. Oh my God, the ego. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, dream team, man, that's hard. Uh, it definitely has to be, Olaf has to be on it. Kenny S has to be on it. 
Um, I really like God B's calling, so I would like to see him on the team. Um, Fur God. In the last spot, man, that's hard. Pro probably, yeah, I'd probably say Crims, because Crims all off together is too good. Big players for the Dream Team. Uh, me, Xist, uh, Happy, uh, Guardian, and uh, Flamey. Off Crims, mm, Kenny, and Kiyoshima, and Pronax's coach. Ah. I would go with Xist from my team, then I would go with the Get Right. As to like some kind of support players on like plants, then myself <laughs> a sniper, and if not me, then I would go with JW with the other sniper as the aggressive style. Uh, with crazy fragger, I would go with probably Shoxy. I like his style, and then fifth one the in-game leader. Uh, I would like to try how to play under happy. What kind of ideas does he have? So, see me or JW, Shoxi, happy, and get right. Sexiest male player, and you can't say me. I was actually gonna say you, that sucks. I'm gonna go Havoc. Oh, okay, the beard. Uh, Sean Gares, he's dreamy. Sexiest male player? Mm, Snarks. Sexiest male player. Hello, <laughs> come on. Okay, not hazed. Um, I guess everyone's vote Sean Garris, so I have to agree with that too. No, Sean Garris is a good looking male, definitely. <laughs> Sexiest male player. <laughs> me. <laughs> it's me. No, it's no homo question. Like, <laughs> uh, okay, let's go for French people. It's NBK. <laughs> Sexiest female player. I would need to know who they are. You can just guess. Someone from Epsilon? <laughs> uh, I have a girlfriend, so no comment. Sexiest female prayer. Mm, LKS. I'm going to pass on this one. I feel like I'm going to get in trouble if someone sees this. Yeah, this is a dangerous question. <laughs> I can't believe I'm being asked this right now. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and say... Uh, Zaz from like four years ago was like, she was smoking hot. Sexiest female player. Oh. Starix. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe some, some of Epsilon female players like Gina or pr probably like LGB like Aurora or LK LKS. Actually, I don't know many nicknames of girl players. <laughs> so that's all I think. Pick one player that you consider the star on CS. The star, okay. Oh my god. Kenny. Yeah, Olaf. That's pretty easy. Uh, pick one player that you consider in the star on CS. Mm. Olaf. Has to be Olaf right now. Oh yeah, right now it's Olaf. Uh, I think probably the, the star of CS uh, all time, maybe, would be like between Forrest, Neo, and Get Right, I think. But yeah, right now, Olaf might be. Well, every single professional player is some star for people. So um, I would say every single team in this major is a star in CS. They got here, they played here, so everybody is a star. Uh, could you mimic one of your mates? Oh. Mates as in teammates? Yeah, maybe. Um, that's was that Luke? Yeah, was that Luke? Luke. Yeah, I, I could do Justin, but it would just be me sitting here not doing or saying anything. It'd just be like being a robot, so that's, that's easy. Called you mimic one of your mates. Could you mimic one of your mates? Oh, my God. Just do, do the laugh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The most overrated player, the most underrated player. Oh dear, most overrated player. Who would be the most overrated player? Um, 
This is way too hard. I don't know. Everybody's good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What next. What about under? No, no, no. Everybody's good. Okay. The underrated player is the most underrated player. Most underrated player, Cypix. Most overrated player, I don't know now. <laughs> overrated? This could burn us. Well, before the Kenny S move to Envious, I thought he was kind of getting overrated because with the op changes, he was kind of like went downhill. But now that he's back on Envious, it seems like he's picked it back up. Um, the most underrated player? I still don't think Crims gets enough credit for what he does on a team. It's always like he's overshined by like Olaf and like Flusha if he goes nuts or JW with his crazy plays. So, yeah, I, w I would have to agree. I think uh, I, I think you're right about the overrated Kenny S. I mean, he's still a, like you know world class dominant player post off change, but um, underrated man. I I really don't think Fergod is like from Luminosity like is recognized for, like how good he actually is. I think Fergod is super underrated. The most overrated player. <laughs> it's hard to say. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say anybody's un like overrated. There are probably underrated, more under underrated players. Like the in-game leaders, all in-game leaders are underrated. Like Happy, Zeus, Pronax, everybody's underrated because they're not getting frags, but they're some kind of heart or brain of the team. So without them, it would be hard to work in, in round. So I would say it's every single in-game leader as well. Existence is not, in, not getting a lot of frags, but the team wouldn't work with, without him. Did you take drugs before anti-doping rules existed? Uh, yeah, like paracetamol and um, cold and flu medicine. Not the bad ones, no. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't even smoke uh, cigarettes. I never tried it, never any weed or something, so no, I, I, haven't, I haven't tried anything before. Do you take drugs before anti-doping rules existed? Yeah, I took them all the time. No, I'm just joking. I didn't take any. I was snorting lines all day. <laughs> no. uh, did you take drugs? Um, I tried Adderall once, and it, I mean, it didn't make me better, but it, just, it wasn't worth it, definitely. So no, not really. Uh, and finally, who does? Uh, oh, does have the largest? Um, <laughs> mm. <laughs> we haven't measured, but I don't know. It. Yeah, we haven't measured. I don't know. That's, uh, I, I'm gonna go with myself. Me. You? Yeah, okay. Yam does. Cheese. <laughs> the largest. <laughs> I don't know. And finally, who does have the largest D? Uh, it's hard to say. Maybe the one who asked this? <laughs> yeah, so that's no homo question, probably homo question, but I cannot answer it. <laughs> finally, who does have the largest? I'll let you guys figure that one out. Um, I mean, I'm down to like pull down the pants right now. <laughs> I don't want to embarrass you. Oh, okay. I respect that. See, that's why you're my teammate. You're a good guy. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to go on a limb and say Hotshot GG, our owner. <laughs> what a suck up. <laughs> Jeez. What up, baby? Thanks.